Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and I'm going to show you in today's video how Carillon came to my rescue. So many of you have already seen these shirts. This is not actually like a tie-dye tying tutorial. This is a, I'm gonna put this in the tie-dye tools because it's more about Carillon than anything else. Okay, so the backstory on what's going on here. So I made the adult shirt I was out of Millsoft. Some of you might remember me saying that the shirt felt like cardboard. It's terrible. I need my Millsoft to hurry up and get here. But at the time of uploading it, I had to go without it. So I did two hot water cycles. I put it in the dryer. I ironed it. I shared it with you guys. It looked great. The white was white. Everything is perfect. Then I made the matching little baby tee and I also made the little blue and green toddler tee. And I washed those two shirts by themselves on a small hot water cycle using Carillon. And I only did one hot water cycle. I deterred from what I normally do. I figured they were so little and it wasn't a bunch of dye. One hot water cycle should be enough. And since I have my Millsoft in, I'm going to take the adult tee and throw it in with the two baby tees. So I did a hot water cycle with my Millsoft and I fell asleep, okay? My big mistake right there. So the next morning I woke up and to my horror, the white on both of these shirts was dingy. It looked gray. In some areas it had uh, big blue splotches of back staining. I've never had this happen before. In theory, they've both been thoroughly washed they should be able to sit wet in the washing machine with zero issue, which leads me to worry about what are, what, what are the customers dealing with when we send our stuff out, especially if we're not washing with professional textile detergent. You know, there are many of you that wash with Dawn detergent. It scares me that the shirts might be ruining their clothes, but I digress. So what I did is I took some Carillon, I poured it in a bowl, and I'm using a toothbrush from the dollar store, soft bristle, and I'm rubbing the Carillon directly into the white areas. I don't know if this is going to work at this point, but I'm hoping that it will. And pouring it into the bowl, it wasn't going very far, so I just decided to pour it directly on the shirt, which did use a lot of Carillon, but I was desperate. I did not want to have to make these shirts all over again. I did the same thing with the toddler tee. I went all the way around the white area and especially focusing on any areas that had a lot of back staining, even in the blue or the red or the yellow. I scrubbed on those areas too. From here, I took both shirts to the washing machine and I ended up having to do two hot water cycles because there were just so many suds from all of the Kirillon and I really wanted to make sure that I got all of the detergent out. I didn't want them to be itchy or scratchy. Then I did a final hot water cycle using Millsoft and I want this to be a tool for you guys. If you guys run into trouble, try this method and see if it can help you out. I guess the moral to the story is, try not to fall asleep while you're in the process of washing out your tie-dye. Well, here they are. The white is white, and I'm so happy. You guys would never know the trouble that I went through for these shirts had I not shared it with you. So my hope for this is if you guys run into trouble in the future, you can remember this tutorial and it might help you out of a jam. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.